guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be reacting to Top 10 Belgian foods you must try in Brussels Hopefully Brussels sprout is not there Oh I was already thinking about Belgian waffles Oh my god, how come we haven't reacted to this sooner? This is so good Welcome wow. to Belgium wow. So what happened was Wow, 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 we reacted wow. To, no, we, We've been doing uh, German foods mm -hmm. and somebody said we should do Belgian foods Because they basically Belgian food, they said combine uh, German, Dutch, and also French, I think. Ooh. So, Belgium, guys. Today we're gonna take you on a Belgian food tour here in Brussels, and we're gonna show you the top ten dishes wow. you need to try when you come here to Belgium. We're gonna show you some of the ultimate Belgian classics, and if you watch all the way until the end of this video, we're going to be eating the best chocolate dessert in all of the country, what? and perhaps even the world. We're gonna start wow. off with the most popular food here in Belgium: Belgian fries. Belgian fries. Fries, yes. yes, so they're called French fries, but they actually originated in Belgium. Mm. Think of places like McDonald's, but to us Belgians, that would be that's me. We don't go to McDonald's, we go to the local Friedrich, the Fry Shack, and they have the best fries here in the whole world. Wow! Sizzle, sizzle. Ooh. Wow, yeah. Guys, for those who have tried Belgian fries and uh, those like French fries here in the States, how would they differ? Because oh. I kind of wonder what's how would be the, like the different. Because I taste. wonder if it could be a different oil that they use. I mean, uh, to be fair, there's a lot of different tastes here too. So, but just wait, 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 what do you think? Well, what's for it? McDonald's fries tastes different from uh, Five Guys. But it's not fries. real fries. McDonald's is like other ingredients. So it's not potatoes. It's not just potatoes. Okay, but it's potato still. Mm -mm. You know? Is that so, the main Because Burger King fries taste different from all the, the mm -hmm. them two. So it's like they taste different. I just kind of wonder how how different. What's your favorite from the chains? I think uh, Five Guys. Oh. Five Guys have really, they're expensive as fuck. Five Guys have been turned out overseas. No, I don't a, think so. What's a bigger chain that you would then go with? I don't know. I think Wendy's. Oh, Wendy's is pretty good. <laughs> Here we have the Belgian fries. They've been fried twice until they are golden brown. Four euros quick. for fries? That's the pretty good. The same here. It's expensive. I know. You could buy a sacket of potatoes and do it at home. I mean, it depends where you get it, right? I guess this is specialty mm. store, so I guess. And the best way to eat it is with a sauce. Like you have a dozen sauces to choose from. Sometimes there's more. But the most popular one is this one. It's it is mayonnaise. It's expensive. Okay, I'm going to a few seconds before they give them to you so they're like really hot, really crispy, very fresh, and not soggy at all. That's really important. And there are a bunch of assorted fried meat snacks you can have to go with it. One of our absolute favorites is a frikandas as well, which is basically a fried sausage that is sliced over. They fill it up with mayonnaise, ketchup, and a few oh, pieces of fresh meat. Such a fried hot dog. I know this looks like we've gone over, no, but that I looks swear interesting. I don't have this too. Africa 320. Okay, so Belgium is not cheap, I see. For for uh, one sausage, 320, that's that's not cheap, but okay. Looks, looks that's really not bad. Though. At the movies, a hot dog back then was $4.25 for a plain hot dog. It's, it's a, a sausage. Okay, it's a no, sausage. Still, still, Come on, still, 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 it's a sausage. Still. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really the sort of stuff we miss whenever we go abroad. This is Brussels' most famous restaurant street. It's called the Rue de Rocher. Right. It used to be really, really good, but it has become very touristy in the last few years. So you really need to know which restaurant to pick. Fortunately, we know just the place. Right. Here they serve classical Belgian cuisine. It's really a very traditional looking restaurant. What is Leaves that? are falling, and so are the prices, with 40% off fall decor from Hobby Lobby. Cut. You know, These when I'm watching muscles, the food course, reviews, which I always have a drink to make me have fun. Because we are balanced according like you fries and pretty much anything. The muscles are prepared. Same. Oh my oh, god, this McDonald's is so fucking annoying. I'm trying to look up the price, I have to create a fucking I account. I promise you it's $4. It's not. You tripping. Then what do you think? Less? Yeah, oh, no. it's McDonald's, McDonald's fries are not going to be four dollars. Four dollars. Oh my god! It's... Oh, fucking annoying. 
out for a few minutes, and when they're ready, when they're boiled, they open up. Take them out by hand, take your fork. Now, I'm not a muscles girly. Mm. It's a lot of Perfection. effort to You can have them plain, but there's also many different types of sauces or condiments you can have. I took the one with white wine, so they add some white wine, a little bit of garlic, even once I you think get when it comes to like mussels bottle. and oysters, I like the flavorings that they put into it than actually eating the actual mussel, clam, or oyster itself. Because of the texture, I'm not a big fan of the texture, unless it was like crispy. It is four fucking dollars. I told you. Well, this is four euros, but whatever. Four dollars. So if it's, if it's four dollars here in euros, whatever, it's gonna be man. like five. Whatever. This is some. And that's not even including tax. Staying four dollars for dollars of fries. Do you tax on that too? Yeah, I think so. Tax. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think so. So it's not even that price. It's five oh, at the see. end of the day. Mm -hmm. I told you. What the fuck, man? I told you. It's supposed I to be you. cheap food. No, it's not cheap. Okay, whatever. Mussels, you should put down here. Dig in a little bit like this. And you get to the gold. This is the mussel broth, the sauce that comes with it. It comes out of the, yeah, the mussels mixed soup. together with the white wine that they put in here. This is actually one of my favorite parts of eating some mussels. Bread. Oh. Mm. One of the best ones I had actually. If you really want to look bad, you've got to do two things. One, Take this half of a muscle, put it here, and then you can use this to eat the ball. Oh, okay. And number two, That's a good tip. drink some beer with it. This is called white beer. It perfectly accompanies the muscles. They go really well together. Yeah. We actually have a beer for pretty much any dish we have, so if you order muscles, have this one. Oh, wow. And this is eel in the green. This is a super typical fish dish for the northern part of Belgium, for the Flemish part. Where Expensive, but it's a very special dish. How much dish. is it? It's like 29 euros, but it's mm -hmm. special. It's so eel. Yeah, I get it. We are from. In Dutch, we call this Bali in Tum, eel in the green. It has this incredible green color in the sauce. This is basically a fresh herb sauce. This is actually my first ever time trying this. Now, typically, when my dad watches these videos and I say, This is the first time I ever did this, I've never done this before, a lot of times dad will comment down below, Of course, you've done this before, Kim. So, as far as I can remember, beyond the age of five, this is the first time trying it. I like eel, yeah, but I don't know if she likes it too much because she took like half a spoon. So yeah, she, that's a delicate. She didn't even eat the whole spoon. Do you know when try. things are more expensive, you eat it in smaller bites? I guess. Really, really strong fish, like, really, really particular taste that you want to go with it. Yeah, some mashed potatoes. Particular taste, I think that's like a keyword for not like uh, <laughs> not so word. good. Yeah. Yeah. By far, the most popular Belgian sweet snack is this. The, the waffle. waffle. We have several so kinds good. of waffles. We have Damn, awesome sauces that we tried waffle. in a different... It, it's expensive, but I will say it's about the same price here too, so it's... Is it? Two fifty. Sure. If you go to a specialty shop, it's going to be a similar uh -huh. price. It's just... I know, we would buy a package like mm. at Costco, so it wouldn't be that price, but like, mm. you know, if, if, you, if, if, if you buy a, at an equivalent place like they are, it would be about the same price. Here, which are not very light, very crispy, and these are the Liège waffles, Pungolf de Liège. It is more of a heavier type of dough. Is so good. This is a traditional way that we have it here in Belgium. We're pretty civilized people, and mostly we just eat it like this, just to do. The tourists, on the other hand, they have the version with like loads of food, loads of whipped cream. I'm the tourist. Sauces like chocolate. And that is me. So, some of them look like a little too much. Like they have the version with like loads of food, loads of whipped cream. The, the ones with strawberry, I I think like I those loads. are okay, but the ones with like the with the shitload of whipped cream, that, that's I mean, just too I much. It. I need the loads. I, I wouldn't mind a little strawberry jam on it. That's fine, but I guess but that's why they have all varieties, you know, for everybody, whoever, mm -hmm. what, what they want. This is like chocolate and caramel sauce. Normally we don't do that, but since today, we've got oh. some of you. I think I'm interested in that as well, by some of you. She's I mean, myself, naughty. thank you. We have also a liege goof with some dark chocolate it. sauce, some whipped cream, and some yeah. strawberries. Here goes the most decadent taste of waffle I have ever had. Let's go. Her dad sending her a message like, you have decorated waffles before. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah I think you're supposed to eat this like with a knife and a fork. Cause it's, uh -huh. it's gonna get a real mess because it's super thick. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just for three I would have attempted it like that too. <laughs> it's pretty good, but slightly over the top. Just mean, don't, mean, don't do this. Just be normal. <laughs> Yeah. We're now heading towards no, more know. food, more delicious Belgian food, but we're not crawling. It's a great video though, very... Mm -hmm. uh, and I like the Christmas. Yeah, so this is a great, great video actually. Mm -hmm. See, the Grand Place here, the beautiful central square in Brussels, it is the most beautiful square in all of Brussels. Brussels. Some say even all of the world. I don't know, I'm pretty biased because we are from like Belgium. Austria to me, that's why I think we went. Well, the architecture is, might be similar, yeah, but it's a different country. bunch of different ways to have chocolate in Belgium. One of them wow. is these really cool crafted tools that make well, have chocolate thing. Oh yeah. You can have palinas, you can have chocolate bars, this is you can a chocolate have chocolate 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 truffles even. You can have pretty much everything chocolate, but the best chocolate dessert is what we're gonna have at the end of this video. I'm really looking forward to it. This is a very famous local dessert as well. It's called a cuba dom of a neuseke. It's a Dutch word for nose. It's made in Ghent, actually it originates in Ghent, but they sell it pretty much what everywhere it? in Belgium. Yeah. It's made out of sugar, starch, and Arabic gum, and it's put in this coat. So it's like licorice, kinda? Because it looks I like think licorice. So, yeah. On shape, and then baked in an oven for a few hours. Have a taste. It's really good. You can really tell this is still a fresh one. Because the outer layer is crystalline. No, it's not licorice because licorice doesn't. Have, it looks like there's a liquid inside, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, this looks interesting. I wonder what it tastes like. It's a little bit tender, and on the inside, you've got this gooey, gooey syrup. It's very sweet, but very tasty. It had a little bit of a raspberry taste, and I really, really like it. A lot of Belgian people like it. If you come here, you should definitely try it. So before we continue with the next four dishes of this food tour, we are going to do one of the things that we highly recommend you do when you come to Belgium. My favorite thing to do in Brussels when you spend some time here walking around from restaurant to restaurant or just visiting places is having a nice Belgian beer. We have the best beer in the world, I can honestly say that. We actually have over a thousand different beers in Belgium. Yeah. And uh, here are two of our favorites. This is my favorite Belgian beer. It's called Chine Bleu. It is a tapas. These are beers that are brewed by monks inside a monastery. We're actually sitting just 10 or 20 meters from where monk is. This is Brussels' most famous statue. Most famous in the <laughs> just around the corner here. That's funny. If you visit there, you should definitely come here. It's called the Pushinala Kelder. It's a famous beer cafe, and they have more than 100 different beers here. When you spend the full day walking from restaurant to restaurant, like in this case for this food tour, this is the perfect break. Oh, yeah. So now we've come to this restaurant where we actually used to come all the time and we still lived in Brussels. We are at the Skivelot and I am having a filet américain, which is ground up raw meat. It's this right here. There's a fresh seasonings in there, there's some capers in there, there's some diced onion. We saw it in uh, Germany, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't beef, it was pork. I think it was pork tartare, right? I thought it was beef. No, it was pork, I think, in Germany. That's why okay. we were kind of sitting, oh, can we eat pork raw? It had to because beef you can eat raw. Mm. Uh, this, I think it was pork. That's why we were. But it's I guess similar dish. And then mayonnaise and mustard to bind it all together. This might look weird to a lot of people, but it's actually super typical in Belgium, and it was invented here in Brussels. This would be hard for me to eat because I'm afraid of raw. Uh, to me. I, Unless, mm, yeah. It's not okay. that I'm afraid, I just don't really like it. I kind of like the my meat cooked. Yeah, yeah, the, the consistency. consistency. Yeah, I just like mm. my meat cooked. Oh, that's really, really good. Cool. And it usually comes with this side salad, a little bit of dressing on there, and of course, some belly. I, mean, I guess, you know, this you would have to try it because it almost looks like it's like, mm, like a nice. mashed potato kind of oh. consistency. Maybe, maybe like to some something so like maybe it's not what I'm thinking, you know. Oh, you have it. Because it doesn't look like just meat. It looks like meat with some sort of like a sauce or, or something in it. These are boulette or meatballs. It's like the yes. very typical Belgian dish. It's what people eat at home. It comes with this sauce that's made out of goose. It's a local Brussels beer, actually. So, oh, Mr. Baby, get this. Being a team here. 
And then everything comes with fries. Mm. If you want to try some homemade Belgian food, definitely come here and try it because this is so good. We're going to do the final two dishes tomorrow for us, which for you will be in about 10 seconds. See you in the morning. Ooh. I like the fact that they're not doing everything in one day because I notice the people that do everything in one day towards the end of they barely eat, order anything. Cause, I mean, you're full, mm -hmm. I get it. But the fact that you know you do multiple days, it just gives like a full mm -hmm. meal experience. <laughs> Honestly, good video. I want to see more of the videos. If they do other countries. Yeah. Our next dish we're going to have a very typical Belgian stew. We're in a really special restaurant actually. It's called Tafen de Lille. This place is run by one of our friends, Francis. If you've seen our previous videos, he's uh, in there. So this restaurant actually employs people who come from a vulnerable background. They provide them with training and coaching. So after a few years of working here, they have more options in the job market, which is actually really, really nice. Almost all of their products are locally sourced. For example, this is cola, locally sourced cola, just a few kilometers down the road. But of course, we're here for the food. This is called Von Ovo, or in Dutch, Konig in the It's a chicken stew with mushrooms in it, some meatballs, and going to say Solid price for 10 euros, for 12 euros, I feel like this for a This is meal. so dang yeah, that's a solid price. Angel Park is a meal fair, this crunchy cookie that you eat with it. Sauce, and cheers. It's nice and gooey and creamy. The chicken is super, super tender, and this, the meal fair, gives it a little bit of crispiness. Perfect. Honestly, I'm starving when you get this. Like, what's really good? Real year for is the best chocolate mm -hmm. dessert in the country. If there is one thing you have to try when you come to Belgium, it is Belgian chocolate. And there are myriad ways to try it. You can just buy it at a shop, at a specialty shop. You can buy these cutesy little decor. I think it's, well, I don't know. I, I guess. Probably this is. I wonder if it's the same chocolate that we have here that says Belgian Belgium chocolate. Because chocolate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would think it would be the same, right? Otherwise, why you say Belgium? You know. Yeah. So I would think. I want to say we probably tasted it before because we have plenty of Belgian chocolate options here. It's like, it's like well, it's just the shapes look different, right? And I'm sure there's different flavor, mm -hmm. like taste. But like the basic, basic chocolate, we do have that here as well. Or you can have our favorite Belgian dessert, which is Moelleux au Chocolat. This is basically a dark chocolate cake with molten chocolate on the inside. Typically in Belgium, it is served with some ice cream on the side. And Moelleux is made of dark oh, chocolate, dying. This flour, looks really sugar, good. butter and eggs. And they mix it all over. Really we have some chocolate good. dough. Hmm? We have something similar here, like lava cake. Molten lava cake. It is yeah. molten, but this is the... The idea is with the Belgian chocolate, mm. that's the idea. And then they mm. bake it in the And oven. I would be saying the same thing about molten lava cake too, so that I'm just, it just looks, mm. you know, it tastes good. Oven for about 12 minutes. Now it's actually not easy to find a molu that is done just right, because it's very important that the center stays really, really gooey, whereas the outside has to become slightly crispy. Look at that Look baby fork though. That Look fork is like a chocolate. children's fork. You might as well take it one bite. Oh, hot chocolate is running right out of the center. I love dessert. Look at this. In the next video, we're going to take you to the most beautiful place in all of Belgium. But in the I guess we'll be watching. Oh, Italian food tour they have to know. Oh, wow. We gonna go to the great, great, uh, great video. Wow, mm -hmm. yeah, this was an incredibly done video. We hit everything that you know that we like to see in the video. Yeah. At least what I like mm -hmm. to see. You know? Great video, yeah. Guys, of course, let us know your thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Discord, and as always, as always, share as much kindness as possible.